Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome or welcome back. I am here today to share with you an introduction to a new project. This is Hey guys, editing Jalen here. In the video, I called this project Grease is the Word. That's not right. This is Pan is the Word. Grease is the Word. And as you can probably tell, it is based on the movie Grease, which is one of my favorites. I freaking love Grease. I even love Grease too. I know I'm probably in the minority, but anyway, this project is a fantastic ladies club project and it was created by Becky Trevette. She is here on YouTube. I will link her channel information down below and she put together 20 prompts that are all related to the movie Grease, a musical, you know, whatever, whichever is your preferred way of watching the watching Grease. Anyway, so she kind of left it up to each individual panner as to how many prompts they wanted to roll in at the introduction, etc. I decided to roll in all 20 prompts because it just helps me kind of plan my panning. And so I'm going to share with you the prompts and the items that I am rolling in. I am so excited for this project. So I did not mention this, but this project, of course, starts today, June 16th, and goes through December 16th of this year. So it is a six month long project. And because of that, I selected items and goals that I think I can meet within that six month time period. We will see. Anyway, let me go ahead and get started. The first prompt is Grease, a hair product. So I went in with a deluxe size sample of the Kenra All Curl Defining Jelly. I am rolling this into finish. This was a product that was gifted to me at, from the place where I get my hair color. And so I definitely wanna give this one a try. It does meet curly girl requirements, whatever. Anyway, I'm rolling this into finish. Next prompt is Pink Ladies, a pink item or an item with pink packaging. So I decided to go with this Too Faced Hangover RX Pillow Balm. Here is super pink. This is in Candy Cane Bang. I am rolling this into finish. This may be a little challenging to do that, but I'm gonna try. So here is a swatch. It does smell somewhat minty. So yeah, we'll see how I go with this one. Next prompt is T-Birds, a black item or an item in black packaging. So I decided to go with this MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. And of course, this is like an old school highlighter from MAC and I wanna get some good use on this one. Here's what the product looks like. I'm rolling this into use 30 times. There is a swatch. Of course, I think everyone has probably had soft and gentle in their collection at some point. <laughs> All right, next prompt is Rydell High, a product you liked as a teenager. I was a huge fan of MAC when I was a teenager, so I rolled in a MAC lipstick. This is the Luster Lipstick in the shade Plumful, and I am rolling this in to use a quarter of the bullet. This is so pretty. There's the shade. Yay. Quarter of the bullet. Here's how much is in here. It's basically untouched. Next prompt is, you're the one that I want. A product you really want in your collection. I am not a singer, by the way. So I rolled in an item that I really wanted for a long time, and it was always sold out. And finally, it came into stock and Valerie purchased it for me because I think she had a discount, like a 20% discount. Anyway, from Ulta. This is the Benefit Willa Blush. I think they call it something else, but anyway, here's what the shade looks like. I wanted this one so bad, and I rolled this into use 20 times. So again, just some usage goals on these. This is such a pretty blush. Yay. Hi. Hi. What are you doing? You want to say hi to the people? They want to say hi to you. Hello. Next prompt is hopelessly devoted to you, an item you can't do without. So I'm rolling in another one of my Old Faithful uh, MAC Fix Plus. I'm rolling this into finish, I'm working on one now. And then I have another spray that I need to finish for another project and then I'll focus on this one. So rolling that into finish. Yeah. <laughs> Next prompt is summer nights, an item best used in the summer. Okay this item. I purchased this years ago and I have like not used it and I always think oh I need to use that in the summer and then I never do. This is by Sol de Janeiro the Glow Motions Rio Sunset Glow Oil. Do they even still make this? This is really nice. Let me 
get a swatch of it on this hand. So that's what the product looks like. It smells really good still. Anyway, there's the product. So I'm guessing I'll use this in the summer, you know, on my legs and stuff. So anyway, I'm rolling this one in to try to use half of this. I don't know if that's possible, but I'm going to try. Next prompt is Sandy and Danny, a duo product. So I don't have a lot of duos, but I do have this. I got this last year by Fenty Beauty. It is a duo of their freestyle cream blush and there's two shades P peony dropper peony dropper and mally booze so let me open this one up here is what this one looks like and this one is peony dropper and this one is mally booze let me give you swatches of these two here we go peony dropper and Mally booze and I'm rolling this just to use each side 10 times I do have some other cream bronzers I'm working on so I just want to get some usage on this all right next prompt is beauty school dropout beauty school dropout an item you will not repurchase <laughs> okay the item I'm rolling in is a liquid lipstick this is by Maybelline it's the superstay matte ink in the shade lover it's number 15 whoops there we go and I just, I, I don't like liquid lipsticks, but I have some that I have in my collection that I'm just, you know, using here and there. I'm going to put a usage goal of 10 uses on this one. This is a really beautiful color. And that's main, mainly the reason why I've kept it in my collection, but there we go. So 10 uses on this. Next prompt is Drive-In, a product with a movie theme or name. So I'm going with a body lotion from Bath & Body Works in Wild Madagascar Vanilla. I don't use my body lotions. I always forget about them because I prefer the thicker cream, but I can use the body lotions more so in the summer. So this uh, scent notes for this one is Madagascar Vanilla Accord, African Pear, Wild Jasmine, and White Sandalwood. And this is unopened, so I'm going to go ahead and open this. I remember Pretty Pistol, I think was her name. She loves the scent. Yeah, Pretty Pistol 88. So anyway, here, let me smell this. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Anyway, I'm rolling this in, of course, to finish. Next prompt is 1950s, an older item in your collection. I'm rolling in a perfume I'm trying to finish. This is by Calvin Klein, it's the scent Escape. I used to get compliments all the time when I would wear this. My sister and I love this perfume. It like has a, you know, whenever it reacts with my, chem my body chemistry, people used to compliment me all the time. But I don't really love this perfume anymore, so I'm trying to roll it out of my collection. It smells great it's just you know I'm moving on anyway I'm rolling this in to use 50 times I really want to get some good progress on this next prompt is pajama party an item you would use in the evening or overnight so I'm rolling in a serum by Estee Lauder it's the advanced night repair synchronized multi recovery complex I really do love this serum and I'm rolling this in to finish Next prompt is Leo Craterface, the leader of the Scorpions, and you were to roll in a face mask. So I'm rolling in a little deluxe eye sample because I'm working a lot of face masks right now. This is by Summer Fridays. It's the Jet Lag Mask. So it's just a little sample. This has 10 grams. So I should be able to finish that fairly easily. Next prompt is Coach Calhoun, an item that motivates you either it wakes you up or makes you feel good. So I decided to go with a cleansing oil. These are challenging for me to like work on. I'm going to try to finish half of this. This is the DHC deep cleansing oil. There's 200 mils in here. So it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. I'm really close to finishing the cleansing oil I'm working on now. So this one will get rolled in, I think in the next couple of weeks. But yeah, it's difficult for me to get through those next prompt is hand jive a product for your hands so I decided to go with a cuticle oil because I'm working on so many hand lotions right now or I have so many in projects this is by different dimensions and it's in the scent catch a wave so this is a very old dropper and I'm gonna try to finish half of this that's probably gonna be very very difficult but I'm gonna try 
we're going to see how I go. Hopefully by putting a good goal, like a really kind of challenging goal on that product will make me use it more frequently. Next prompt is Grease Latin, a product you can use up quickly. So I'm going with a mascara because I get through mascaras pretty quickly. This is by Bite Beauty, of course, no longer available. The Upswing Full Volume Mascara, I heard wonderful things about this mascara. So I think I found a, several at TJ Maxx and I purchased them. So I'm going to give that one a try. Next prompt is Makeover, a product that can really alter your appearance. So since we're going into summer and pretty soon I will have a tan, I am rolling in a color corrector by Smashbox. This is the color correcting stick and this is the light version. This is a very peachy color corrector compared to the one from Becca. So you can see there. So I'm going to roll this in. I'm rolling it in to use a quarter of the stick. Now I can't use this for like long periods of time because it's a darker product and then like once my tan goes away I can't use this anymore. So that's why I'm putting a quarter use goal on this one. We'll see how that goes. Next prompt is Teen Angel, an item that makes you feel like you're in heaven. I have used this product once and oh my god it's it's amazing. These are eye masks from Karuna, the hydrogel eye masks in Sakura Rose. This feels amazing. Like it's a very jelly like hydrogel mask that goes into your eyes and there's a ton of serum, but the serum is a very thick consistency. It's like heaven. So I'm rolling this in to finish. Again, I've used them once and let me see if I can show you what these look like. I almost, whenever I first opened this, I was like, where does the mask start? So it's kind of hard to tell, but anyway, this is lovely. So I am rolling this in to finish these. I should have these done within like a month and a half or so. The next prompt is the beach, something you would take to the beach with you. I am rolling in a sugar scrub. This is by Sensi. It's their sugar scrub in Make a Splash. This is an aquatic scent. Well, it's sealed. I don't know why I'm opening it because it's sealed. So I will kind of set this aside and actually take it to the beach with me because I am going to the beach in July. So that's when I will work on this product. This will be kind of my travel scrub. More than likely, I will start and finish this while I'm there. I think that's what happened to me last time I took a scrub or I may have taken a deluxe size. Now I can't remember. Anyway, I'm going to see how much I can get done of that while I'm away. And the last prompt is musical, an item that makes you want to sing with delight. I'm rolling in this gorgeous palette by Menagerie. It's the Fight Club palette. I purchased this when it, I think when it launched, no, after it launched, but they had like a Black Friday sale and I purchased it and then like it disappeared. I, never, I could never find it. I lost that and a Tom Ford blush, of course. So I repurchased this and I, I want to get some good use on it. So here is the color story, purples. I mean, you guys know I love purples. So I'm rolling this into use five times. And when I say use for this palette, I want to have this palette be pretty much the one I use for the majority of an eye look. And I may pull some other shades in here and there, but this one will be like, I'll use the majority of these shades for an eye look and then um, that'll count as a use. So five uses on the Menagerie Fight Club palette. So anyway, that is my introduction for the Grease is the Word project. Thank you so much to Becky for putting together such a fun project idea and coming up with these awesome prompts. That is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Ziggy. Ziggy! What are you doing? Hi! Okay. I did not mention this in the, uh, the very beginning. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Next prompt is Sani, Sani. Hopefully by putting a pretty good, like progress goal on that project, on that product. So that is my, uh, my, hi.
Ziggy, what are you doing? Okay, bye.